Hi folks, how's everybody doing today? Uh, it's good to be back here making another video and as the title said we're going to talk about the photo deox adapter and the problem people have getting it loose from their Canon lens. I'm sorry, loose from their Nikon lens. I'll get this right in a minute. So let's jump right into that. Uh, this is a Canon camera. This is a Nikon lens and I'm able to mount it on this Canon camera by using the Photo Diox uh, EOS to F mount adapter or F mount lens to EOS camera adapter, ever how you want to call it. Now the problem is uh, that once you take the lens and the adapter off the camera, you can't get the adapter off here. That's what everybody's saying. Oh, I can't get the adapter off my lens. It's stuck. It won't come off there. I've even read comments where people have said, they, uh, their Nikon lens is now a Canon lens because they'll never get the adapter off. Well, that's not true. So let's show you how to do it. There is a tab right here. You see this little tab with my fingers on? Let's see if you can see that. You see how I push that down? Now I'm pushing it straight down. I'm not pulling it out or pushing it in this way. I'm pushing it straight down, down towards the front of the lens. Now, I'm going to push that down. And this being a Nikon lens, the way it unscrews from something is reverse threaded or counterclockwise. So let's just go ahead and do that. Adapter comes right off. Adapter comes right off. Let's put it back on and do that again. Now, you have to be careful putting these things on and off. You don't want to mess something up. And you want to get it to where, uh, on some of these lenses, you have to kind of play around, get it to where it locks. Now, when you put this on to your Canon camera, you want to just let it lay there nice and flat. Uh, you don't want to force it in, shove it in. You want to just play with it until it falls in. And then it turns clockwise to lock on a Canon. The, the adapter and the lens assembly turns clockwise to lock on a Canon camera. All right, it's on there. And now we're going to take it back off again to show you one more time. We're going to push the button. Turn this whole assembly counterclockwise because we're taking the lens off of a cannon. Now, do we have the lens and the photodiox adapter off of the Canon camera? I just dropped the lens cap. I'm clumsy today. Once more, I will uh, cover this. This is a little, that's the little black tab. Very hard to see. Now, I'm going to push down on that and then I'm going to turn the lens clockwise like we think would normally tighten it onto this adapter and uh, get that to come right off of there there we go and it just comes right off and uh, just to show you what that looks like without the adapter you see how this little piece sets up here you just push down on that I might even be able to turn it around this way and uh, get it to where there's some uh, light behind it right there it pushes down just like that and uh, that's what the unlocking lever does on the photo deox uh, f mount lens to eos camera adapter okay now these are available for about 15 dollars at bnh photo and they're not paying me to talk about it i bought one and i use it because i can use my old uh, relatively cheap nikon manual focus uh, lenses the old uh, AIs, AIS lenses, I like those. I can put them on a Canon digital camera. And I have to manually focus and manually exposure, but I don't mind doing that. Uh, it's a little harder to focus these digital cameras. They don't have a split in image uh, focusing screen in them, like the old film cameras do. That's a little bit of a problem, but it's not insurmountable. I can work around that. I can still make it work, and it, it comes out pretty good for me. So I thought I'd share that with you. And, uh, and again, uh, the only other trick I can think of on these is on some of these lenses, when you put them on, they will fit and they will not lock. And if you get a photo deox adapter and do that, just turn it around about another half turn and let it fall back in place again and look for the place where it locks. And uh, you've got you to put it on the lens and, and uh, when you get it in the right place, it'll lock just like it did then. And there's, sometimes there's a place you can put the lens, the, the adapter onto the lens, and it won't lock there. So you have to gently raise it up, turn it down, 
turn it around about a half a turn or a third a turn and try that again and find a place where it locks. Because there's no contacts or levers or information passed through the adapter, all you're looking to do is lock it to the lens. You're not worried about lining it up to contacts or pins in the lens. There's nothing. Not, there's not going to be any communication between it and the camera. And uh, so the other thing you're going to have when you put it on the camera, I'll show you that one more time too, is just turn it around. You see this? Now, when you get it in the wrong place, look at that, it does not go down. When you get it to the right place, it will just magically fall into place gently. These things are, you think they're tough, but you don't want to horse them around. Start trying to shove stuff in there and be all ham-handed. You'll bend something up or break it, mess up your camera or your lens, and that ain't going to work. So you really want to just be careful and uh, be gentle with it. Treat it right, and it'll, it'll work. And I hope for the people that are saying that that adapter gets stuck on a lens, you can't get it off. I hope this helps because it's actually quite easy to get off if you just follow that little trick to it. And, uh, and that's the only trick that I know of to get it off, and it's a simple one. Uh, wish they could have made that lever bigger, but probably no room in there to make it bigger because... If you made it any bigger, it might uh, keep the lens from fitting flush or might affect the, the depth of the lens to the camera or it might have blocked part of the image or it might have stuck out to the side and caught on something. So this is probably the only size they can make it. But it works out pretty good and um, I hope this helps, all right? Hey, as always, thank you for watching. I appreciate you stopping by and I look forward to making some more videos real soon and just sharing simple tips that I know and hopefully... They'll help you to enjoy your photography more and uh, be able to get some good images. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.